Gents, um, Springbok matters. Uh, there's a, I see there's a bunch of uh, players that have selected to join the, the contracted group in Stellenbosch this week. Uh, tell me a bit more about this guy from the first division, Buller Abrahams. I believe there's yeah. a problem at Scrum Half, so they, they've had to delve into uh, the first division. Um, but yeah, I mean, I guess no really huge surprises in terms of the guys that they've chosen. I must say, uh, I, I put up a post this morning. Uh, I found a picture on the internet because I've <laughs> I, I never, I'd never heard of him. And um, <laughs> for, for, for those in the country which are in the same situation as I am, I put a picture up on Twitter. And I, pre I presume no one has heard of him. And mm -hmm. I, I even watched the, uh, the, the first division final on Friday, and he didn't look particularly striking. Mm -hmm. Look, I mean, for me, the really page, Bula Abrams, that's ticking boxes, uh, and it's mm -hmm. very sad. Um, yeah, Pete Van Sales, great rugby player. I mean, for me, Nick Groom would uh, obviously can't be included because he's playing on the weekend. But uh, yeah, it's sad. I mean, for me, that looks like a political tick boxing for me, uh, mm. sadly. Rob, what are, you, yeah, what are your the, thoughts? The one thing about Heineker is he, he's often done some slightly sort of creative things when it comes to, mm. to scrum halves. So, I mean, uh, I think he, he ruffled a few feathers. Was it last season when Louis Schroeder sure, yeah. got into the into the Springbok mix? Um, just because he sees, <coughs> sometimes he just seems to see something in, in a particular player that he likes. And that doesn't necessarily mean that he's going to you know, go the whole hog and then he's mm. actually going to find a place mm. on the tour and so on. So I suppose we shouldn't get mm. sort of too, too yeah. sort of upset yet about you know, some sort of you know, no-name brand players suddenly coming mm. from, from nowhere to, to get into the mix because it may mm. not happen. Uh, although, that said, they are taking a squad of, I think it's 36 I read, mm, uh, to, to Europe. So the, <laughs> there's, there's plenty of room for sort of uh, you know, manipulating the, the numbers there. Yeah. Um, you know, uh, perhaps you can afford to understock certain positions and then uh, overstock certain others uh, for strategic reasons or whatever. So we'll wait and see. But um, you know, I often take the view that when a player gets invited to a camp, sometimes it can be just, uh, hello, I want you to have a look at this guy, mm. and I'm going to you know, get him there, sort of even if it's just sort of holding a few tackle bags mm. or doing a few press-ups. Uh, let's see what he's made of. Let's see whether there's the possibility of him fitting in. Um, it, it, it's always difficult when you have a camp uh, uh, when there are, you know, the players from certain unions are not available. Um, so you, again, you don't want to read too much into, into what's going on. And most of the staple contracted players obviously are, are going to be part mm. of the, the camp. And it's really just about prep for the, for the tour. The, the real interest will be waiting to see the actual names of the 36 uh, that come out um, mm. a day or so after the after the Curry Cup final. Yeah, um, I mean, looking at that that final squad that's that's due to go t uh, to the UK, um, I'm assuming that would also be looking forward to the World Cup. You know, just testing those Northern Hemisphere con conditions. Um, that will obviously be a big uh, big consideration for Heineke. Yeah, I think that's why I probably take his first choice side. Um, mm. Yeah, conditions. You know, 11 months out, it's it's, it's getting real now. Mm. Um, but yeah, I mean. You know, further to what Rob said, the, the, you, you'd, I'd love to know what he's thinking about those lines props because uh, <laughs> it's obviously an area that's very, very close to your heart. It is <laughs> okay. indeed. And then, what did you see is call up Lawrence Adrianza again. Yeah, and he's come from nowhere. Not exactly Mr. Form in a curry cup. No, yeah. exactly. Got hammered on the weekend. Um, and then, can you suddenly pull a Lions prop into into a squad on Sunday after the Curry Cup final? Mm. So yeah, I mean, it was more. T obviously, I'm uh, you know biased, but uh, more to, to Rob's point about you can't actually get too sweaty about who gets invited to camps mm. because it, it's actually who gets announced on on, on the Sunday. Um, but I, I do think we'll probably see a couple of surprises, as Rob says. It's a big mm. squad, and um, you know you, you'll take some passengers because he's got room.